It has been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> yes, it has been. Let's release that ratchet a little bit. We call ourselves clocksmiths. It's a dying art. Very few are able to pass it down to their children. Generally, people don't realize that a clock is mechanical, unlike their car where they'll change oil every 3,000 miles or so. They never touch their clock until the clock is so worn that it needs an overhaul. You really just gotta make sure that you get everything positioned right and cut right and polished right and shaped right to make sure that they can work and they can continue to work for the customer. As far as in the state of Arizona to have a shop that's like this and having the knowledge and the ability to work on these old time pieces, it's very rare. House calls, they generally go down because the people cannot bring in, obviously, a grandfather clock, can't carry it in like a wall mantel clock. So we do go out to the customer's home. Sounds kind of fast. Yeah, it is. Then just Let's see if you can get your hands in there. That's a lot better. Yeah. Very good. I would say there's probably more shoe repairmen per capita here in the valley than there are clock repairmen. And shoe repair is pretty rare. All right. Good for another four years. Very precise work. You have to have dexterity and you have to know what to feel for especially when you're working on really nice clock mechanisms like this, you, you have to have the right technique or you can break parts. Most of them that we have in the shop right now are about 1750s to about 1830s right now. There's just something about these old mechanisms, um, they, they have a personality. They didn't have computers when they built that. It was all done by hand. Most people you see in this business do wear glasses eventually. I mean, it's, it's kind of, if you take any kind of job, you kind of look and see what's going to happen down the road. When, when your eyes are in a magnifying glass all day long, they strain, and that just falls into that you love your job and you like what you're doing, and so you're willing to do that. I mean, as long as I don't go blind, I'll, I'll, I have no problem doing that. When you could take something that's in disrepair, that's 150, 200 years old, and redo it all and get it back up and running. I mean, it's just, a, it's, it's something that you have to be passionate about and be able to take the time and effort to do it properly.